the perfect Carabic star follow-up to Johnny Depp was ready, but Disney quickly abandoned the project. Disney briefly thought it had found the ideal Johnny Depp replacement for the flub of the Carabic movie, but the anticipated Margot Robbie fantasy blockbuster has already been killed. In the 2000 seconds, Fletch the Carabic was unbeatable, despite the fact that the Pirates of the Caribbean 2 followed the Pirates of the Caribbean, which was a complete failure, the Disney attraction's filming evolved into one of the most lucrative film series ever. Parts 3 and 4 of the Pirates of the Caribbean series performed on a par with the original, which had already surpassed the $1 billion mark. However, a significant quality decline was already visible in Part 4, the first movie following the original trilogy, before the franchise finally hit a wall with the 2017 release of Pirates of the Caribbean 5, Salazar's Rake, the budget collapsed, and the revenue decreased. Lack of the Karabik is a cultural event. Phelan's age, an extremely slow shipwreck. Bedudens lost a Kate. Prior to two years ago, it appeared as though Disney had discovered a way out of the hole where the increasingly Johnny Depp-centered series had plummeted. Beyond the well-known characters around Jack Sparrow, a brand new plot twist for the Karabik movie starring Margot Robbie is expected to emerge. However, it is now evident that Disney has completely blown the biggest opportunity for the franchise by not even trying to attack. Robbie recently revealed in an interview that the studio has no interest in implementing her idea. Disney can then send one of the hottest Hollywood stars of the moment across the Alps. And what now? Will Depp possibly return once more? Outside of the exclusive scandal, the Jack Sparrow actor is no longer the draw to the public that he was before a decade. Depp's constant return was even prohibited for Fletch of the Karabik. The fourth part made it very difficult to position Jack Sparrow as the sole main character without Elizabeth and will, and the fifth part made the issue even clearer. Even a complicated backstory could not prevent the addition of new facets to the pirate captain. A Johnny Depp on autopilot wouldn't have made the series any more interesting. The Jack Sparrow figure is so obscure, in Salazar's rake, there was nothing left of the untarnished leanness that Depp had in the first films as he swept through the frame. This manufactured apathy doesn't have a $300 million blockbuster. It would have been urgently necessary for Margot Robbie to provide some fresh air. Robbie is a member of a new generation of Hollywood celebrities that move fluidly between blockbusters and prestige projects without being stuck in stereotypes. Her most well-known role is as Harley Quinn in the DC Universe. As an outspoken anti-heroine, Harley Quinn rebels more and more against the sexualized image that has been suppressed against her in the past with each appearance. Robbie simultaneously makes his acting debut abuse in the self-indulgent historian Commodi Amsterdam and the clunky Oscar drama Babylon. She moves through Quentin Tarantino's and Martin Scorsese's filmographies with the same ease, and the next year, she even wins the big lame land as Barbie. There are currently very few actors with a similar level of self-awareness in the film industry. The secret to Robbie's success is his self-awareness. After The Wolf of Wall Street gave her a breakthrough, she went on to become a career author. They won't let the dream factory dictate their actions. Robbie is stingy when it comes to her projects, and Disney should be pleased that they gave the soon-to-be blockbuster pirate series even a passing thought. Robbie's eye for quality projects is evident in many ways than just the roles she chooses. She has grown to have a powerful voice both as a producer and vocalist. Young, fresh Hollywood cinema is represented by the production company Lucky Chap Entertainment, founded by them in 2014. Their biggest hit to date was the darkly humorous comedy thriller Promising Young Woman, which was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars in 2021, among other awards. Robbie does not yet have a billion-dollar hit in his pocket. However, the energy that she brings to the film landscape is far more valuable than the slowly fading memory of Johnny Depp's glance times on higher sea. Disney is now again present with empty hands. A new Karabik film flop is definitely not in the cards. The ongoing crisis state has been extending for five years.